All right, so some big news today. Donald Trump reporting. <laughs> Donald Trump, President of the United States, reporting. So I want to uh, thank uh, Lift the Veil. Thank you, Nathan, covering that uh, Seth Rich piece. His coverage is uh, good. It's good stuff, man. It's really, I like how he, he combines both uh, sides of the argument. Link is down below. Nathan, uh, Lift the Veil. Great video. I'm in it. <laughs> Uh, some of my stuff. Um, so uh, thank you for that. Um, thank you, new subscribers. Wow, pow, Scri subscribers all over the place. Good subjects, right? <laughs> and uh, what else? What else? So, so the the clip down below, right, is True Pundit reporting, and it's Thomas Paine, True Pundit, reporting that Donald Trump said, and I quote, um, "I put an a an AG." who never took control of the Defense Department. I mean, about the Awan, Awan brothers, right? So, who is Imran Awan? You can watch the uh, video of uh, uh, Tucker Carlson on Fox News interviewing Luke Rosiak. Uh, Luke Rosiak is a very clean and proper looking guy. He's, I think he's the Daily Caller. Eh, you know, he's he's he still believes that Democrat it's Democrats and Republicans, you know. It's Democrats versus Republicans. That's his that's that's what he thinks, right? Because if the Democrats are bad, the Republicans must be good. So but other than that, his reporting has been pretty good. Uh, on the Awan brothers. So what are the Awan brothers? Luke Ro Rosiak and uh, Tucker Carlson hammer it down, they infiltrated Congress through a spy ring when asked to stop you know, stop it. They continued. Why? Because they had, co they had cover through the Democratic, you know, party was covering it. Right? And um, so Donald Trump called it, you know, President, President of the United States, Donald Trump, our brother from Queens, New York, declared it a travesty. Hmm. I said that yesterday. President watching? Are you guys infiltrating our channels? <laughs> Truth train. Truth train. So, um, you know, it's a heavy story. It's 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 a story of it's a story of it is a story in Washington of Democrats and Republicans where there's a certain there's a certain group that gets away with murder, literally. Seth Rich, possibly Jenny Moore, 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 but we don't know that yet. We don't know if Seth Rich is dead either. But the fact is that. There's a, there's a group of people, you know, you know what it is, he, this is what I want to say to Luke Rosiak, right, who thinks that it's, de still thinks it's those Democrats versus those Republicans, right? There's the saying that there's no atheists in the, uh, in the, in the fox, foxhole, you know, in war, when the bullets are flying and bodies are falling all around you, and there's no, there's no atheists, everybody fucking believes that it's got to be something more, right? Right? The, 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 in D.C., right, there are no Democrats. Once they're there, there are no Democrats and Republicans in the money pit. There's no Democrats and Republicans in the money pit. There's only money grabbers. Understand that. So Imran Awan is an example of, the, I mean, the, the examples this week of Paul Manafort, who did some nonsense tax evasion back in 2012, gets hammered with eight counts, likely to spend the rest of his life in jail, and they're going to vacate all his assets, right? Right? But, another truth train. Woo! You want to feel it? Feel the love. Woo! Ah! The love of the truth train. So, so Imran Awan walks out the back door as expected. He got one count of, I don't know, signing his name where it wasn't supposed to on a bank statement. <laughs> Such bullshit, right? Guy was, guy was responsible for, the, for, for navigating one of the biggest, probably the, the only, because, it's, because we're new to electronic communications. The original, he is the original hack of the DNC of Congress hacking the, the, the servers. But why did they hack it? Right? Here's the other spin that 
conservatives like Tucker Carlson and, and Luke Rosiak, whatever conservative means anymore, is that they try to spin it that it's that it's the it's the Democrats doing it to the Republicans, and that that a guy like Imran Awan was doing it for the love of his country, Pakistan, which is not true. They were doing it. He's a paid he's a paid motherfucker, right? That's what he is. Imran Awan was paid through Debbie Wasserman Schultz. They were given cover to operate a quid pro quo operation. Information on Wall Street is is money. If you know, like for example, if you're if you have if you have intelligence and information about the Intel Arms Committee, closed door hearings, and 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 you, and Lockheed Martin, you don't think the fucking the, the guys that sell bombs and guns and planes want to know about that information? You got to remember, there's 700 billion dollars still in play. They signed off that bill, that military bill, military industrial complex, very powerful. So, it, to get that information first, right? how that money is going to be allocated, all that stuff, right, is very valuable on Wall Street because it, it, it affects price. Right? It's quid pro quo. It's not foreign entities. Some of it is, but for the most part, the enemy is Wall Street. The enemy always has been. So next week I'll be in D.C. Maybe. What am I doing there? But so I'm running for the uh, United States Senate, and um, my name is Marcus Conti, running for the United States Senate. What else did I want to say today? Oh yeah, buy a sticker while you're here. And uh, President of the United States, Donald J. Trump, has said that the Imran Awan sentencing, he got nothing, is a travesty. I agree. I couldn't agree more. Total travesty. What do we do about it? Peace out.